Black China has um, saw the light. Yes, Black China has saw the light. Black China is now encouraging women to no longer go through the um, BBL procedures. Black China um, is pretty much taking out all her implants that, that she previously have, okay? So let's listen to Black China perspective about this. And, you know, of course, like I always, I'm going to give you my perspective about this as well, too. All right? So let's go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so I'm at the doctor's office right now, and as y'all know, I've been changing my life and changing my ways. So... One of the things that I feel like is going to take me to the next level is obviously taking some of taking some of these ass shots out. And by the way, ass shots and BBL is totally different. And I'm going to tell you why. A BBL is when they use your own fat. Ass shots is silicone. So I just want all the ladies out there to know, do not get silicone shots because you can get sick, you can die, have complications, and all this other crazy stuff. I haven't had any crazy complications since I got it. I got it when I was 19 years old. But 19, now I'm moving damn. here in life. So I want this out of my ass so I can grow. Not to mention, I've been out. All right, you guys, so I'm about to get my blood work done. I'm excited. Uh, which 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 vein is better? Ooh, this one. It's good. Okay. Mm. How's your day? Good. Mm -hmm. You edited whenever. Look at who I just ran into. <laughs> the one and only Matlock. You know what I'm saying? The original. Quit playing. And y'all wait on. Ooh, you, we got some stuff for y'all. <laughs> Oh yes, 100%, just wait. China wants to experience everything. We want everyone to see China experiencing all these things. We have a brand new med spa coming. We get the whole new business. It's called the Aesthetic Surgery Institute and Med Spa. Our hmm. go-to person is right here. More. I bet. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, so it is now Sunday. Whew. I must say I'm very, 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 very happy. I'm in recovery mode right now. Got my bandages on. As you can see, I got my breasts reduced. One of the best decisions I could have done in a very long time. Also, I got the reduction in my butt. All right, ladies. So, normally my procedure would have taken like maybe four hours, right? Like four hours tops. Four hours. My procedure took over eight and a half hours, y'all. Because the simple fact that whatever that silicone mass, whatever that was, that was in my buttocks, right? It kept clogging the machine and breaking kept clogging the machine and breaking it wow all right so let me get y'all my perspective about this okay all right and i'm, I'm just gonna be realistic with y'all even though um uh black china was is going through her whole procedure and doing this right but let's call it what it is the real reason why china is doing this is because China has hit that wall. Okay. She's at the age now where she's getting older and she's not going to no longer look the way how she looked when she was younger doing this. It's colorful it is. She's not competing with these younger girls who are doing this. And so now she is pretty much retiring. So that's why she's doing this. Because if that be the case, right? If that be the case, China would have never did this to begin with. 
And I find it interesting that now she's sitting up here trying to encourage other um, younger women like, well, if you're going to do it, don't do the silicone. But the other one you can do. That's pretty much what she was saying. Pretty much what she was saying. Then let's be realistic about China's career too. Black China has money. She's receiving child support from her baby daddies. She's receiving uh, royalties from, you know, the industry that she was working in, which is her OnlyFans and all this stuff. So let's be realistic about it. Black China is set. And her children are set. So this is the reason why she's really doing it. Because other than that, if they had like a machine to uh, quote unquote give women the fountain of youth for they could stay looking young forever, China would do this until she died. And would encourage women to do the same. So let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. So this new found thing that she's doing and she's, uh, you know, posting on her IG and all this stuff and uh, trying to be an inspiration and stuff and seem like, you know, she's a champion of doing this. I, I call cap on it. For the simple fact, she does hit that wall. That's where it boils down to. And so she's retiring from it. So what do y'all think about my perspective on this? Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you again on the next episode.